Hydro seeding is an excellent way to revegetate large areas of soil. Typically, this is done on a large scale by operators using expensive machinery. It is possible for us to make a smaller unit that we can use at home. Let us look at what hydro seeding is, and then how you can MacGyver a little unit together to allow you to use this system in your garden or small plot. You will see how to make a hydro seeder the simple way. A note on MacGyvering things together. I grew up watching the TV show MacGyver. This guy always used to be able to cobble a plan together with a few pieces of wire and some things that were available so that he could make an escape. The show inspired us to see that you don't always have to have something that is ready-made, you can use human creativity to make a plan. In my area, there are frequently times when you just cannot buy something off the shelf, so you MacGyver something together. If you create such a solution, it is called a MacGaffeter, some little thing that you MacGyver together. What is hydroseeding? Hydroseeding refers to the process of creating a slurry of seeds together with various agents, which help to ensure the even distribution of the seeds and the successful germination of the seeds upon their landing on the soil. Typical mixes include the seeds, some sort of nutrients, pH control agents such as lime, sometimes an organic mulch agent, and agents to hold moisture and make the mixture sticky. This is often used to slow erosion and achieve rapid cover of ground surfaces that have been disturbed. Is hydroseeding the same as hydromulking? The two are very similar except that hydromulching does not include seeds, whereas hydroseeding does. With hydromulching, you are basically painting the ground with a layer of sticky much so as to reduce erosion and allow seeds in the natural seed bank to germinate. With hydroseeding, you are adding seeds to the mix so that you get faster and more reliable germination and cover. There are times when hydromulching is desirable so as not to introduce potentially invasive species of plants. Making a home hydroseeder the sneaky way. I had a section of my garden that I needed to vegetate in a hurry. I had never heard of hydroseeding until I started a wind farm in my town. The developers used hydroseeding to cover up pieces of land that they had cut big roads through. I was fascinated as I watched the hydroseeding company spray a mixture of mulch, lime, a silicon water retentive agent, and a tackifier onto the soil. Within two weeks the grass was growing and three months later the grass stood knee-high. It was amazing. These guys had a big tank with a mixer in it and a slurry pump and a thing like a fire hose. This is all a really expensive kit. I was determined to use hydroseeding and I set about building a hydroseeder. When figuring out how to make a hydroseeder I found an old dishwasher pump and a drum and another pump and spent a day fiddling around and the thing just clogged up. I figured that I was about to burn my workshop down out of frustration and then had this idea that I could use a little piece of plastic I had collected on the beach when fishing once that was in the bottom of my fishing bag. When I was in the fishing storage area, I spotted my prawn slash shrimp pump. And thus I solved a problem. Using a prawn slash shrimp pump as a home hydroseeder. If you are only going to hydroseed a small area there is no logical reason to build a hydroseeding rig. A prawn slash shrimp pump is so cheap that you can buy one for a lot less than what it will cost you in time to make one. Step 1. Mix up your slurry, use 1 gallon of milled compost, 1 package of a cupcake flour, and 3 cups of lawn grass seed. Mix well. Step 2. Add a cup of lime and a cup of fertilizer. Step 3. Slowly add warm water and mix it with a square shovel until the whole thing is a thick slurry. How to use it. Once you have filled the bucket you literally use the prawn pump to just suck the slurry up and slosh it onto the surface you wish to coat. We hope this has answered your questions on how to MacGyver a simple hydroseeder together. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.